Welcome back and in today's video we're going to be talking about a situation involving Eugenie Acuni and some moderators in her Discord server and her Twitch channel. Um, I don't know how this situation kind of slid under the radar but this is some pretty bad stuff. I originally heard this from Pastel Bell and Creepshow Art. They did excellent videos on this topic and were the ones who brought to my attention how Eugenia and her community is just not a safe place. If you're unfamiliar with Eugenia, she has a YouTube channel with over 2 million subscribers, as well as a Twitch channel with 117,000 followers. She's a Twitch partner and she does live streams just chilling. It's important for me to tell you what this video is and is not about. This is not a video talking about Eugenia's weight or how she's possibly relapsing on her ED. I made a tweet late last night. Apparently Eugenia Cooney knew about one of her viewers being and told her mods not to ban the guy because he's sweet. If anyone had a similar experience of this kind of behavior from Eugenia's mods and or community, email repkings at live.com. This is not okay. One user brought up a really good point saying, I'm just gonna throw this out here. Severe nutrition deficiencies impact the way your brain functions. Eugenia can't think right because of the ED. I replied with, I fully believe this. However, it does not make her community any safer for children. And that's what the focus of this video is going to be on. See, there's got to be a line where if somebody's got something where it's uh, impacting the way they think and make decisions based on their community, then the community shouldn't suffer for that. But that's exactly what's happening, and it's terrible. The handpicked moderators on Eugenia's Twitch channel and in her Discord servers have been very inappropriate with... Uh, several people and she's been made aware of this on multiple occasions many of you don't know she's had three confirmed very bad people in her community at the very least and her audience go at lengths to cover it up and not apologize for it there are three but there are probably more she has never apologized or even tried to protect the young people in her audience she doesn't age restrict her content and has actively ignored these concerns one user saying, I reported my fears to Eugenia Cooney and I got, he's nice and that he's sweet. And then I got banned for caring about safety. And I just have a sick feeling there's more. The guys in her discord sometimes act vile. I mean, inappropriate conversations are completely normal in there for a place that is not 18 plus. And when people try to bring it up, the moderators delete their messages. I joined your Discord for a couple days a while back, and I would definitely say it's not a safe place, especially for young girls. Very inappropriate and violent men. Just letting you know. This next exchange I'm going to show you guys documents a young 14-year-old viewer. And this situation is extremely twisted. Here the young viewer is seen to reach out to one of Eugenia's trusted moderators. Remember this name. It's important uh, in just a second. Can you help me get a message to Eugenia? Only thing I can do is DM her on Twitter just like you. True. Basically I'm being stalked by not good person and I have to disappear for a bit is what I wanted to tell her. I'm sure she will understand. The viewer reaches out to Eugenia and she actually responds. The viewer says, hi Eugenia, I'm being stalked by not good person, blackmailer, and I have to ditch my old accounts, but I don't know what to do about my subscription and it's going to upset me that you're going to forget about me and who I was. I'm being stalked, Eugenia, and I don't know what to do if I can't watch you under, uh, she says her username, Fancakes, anymore. Please don't forget me. I don't know what to do and it hurts so much. I love you. I got to go into hiding. Eugenia simply responds with, Aw, oh, don't worry. I'm so, so sorry to hear that, and I really hope things get better. Don't be afraid to report it to authorities if things get too serious. You're always so sweet, and I wouldn't ever forget you. Love you, and hang in there, heart. This is this is just not how you take care of a situation like this. Um, I think uh, you know myself. I would get I would zero in on this and I'd figure this out and I I do this for the safety of my own community. And I'm sure that any other creator will tell you the same. This right here is a definite shifting, not taking accountability. These are people um, being hurt in her community in her own server she shifts blame and it's very reflected in this next clip that i'm about to show you how her and her moderators handle things and the community needs to know this is the discord server okay to join you heard some things about predators not being banned oh hibiscus yes it's totally yeah if, you're you're totally free to join that about that like i know like some people try to like you know 
say like bad things about me kind of about like certain people that have been like part of the discord server and i just want to see what that guy's like that really doesn't have anything to do with me or anything to do with my moderators like at all and um like i feel bad that sometimes people think that's like my fault that that like happens but you know i can't always like fully control like like the internet Like as soon as like that, like if it's like proven that somebody did something like that and like they definitely did something like that, then they're gonna get banned. People that talk about that I think are just people that really don't like me and like to kind of like blame me for that. Um, and um, yeah. But yeah, guys, if that did happen and you had like proof that something bad was happening to you, then you guys could um, message EmoJ or like a moderator and they will like make sure that that is taken care of. But Eugenia, I never banned him or timed him out. Look at his timeouts history for clarification. I mean, I've already given him several chances when I've had people reporting blank misconduct from him. He targets women in your community and brags about the size of his blank in whispers. I think this only proves how much I let slide from your community and how lenient I am with them. Hmm. So here you have one of our main moderators saying that they did not ban somebody that was being very inappropriate. Remember this receipt deleted by a moderator? And in an even creepier receipt. I wonder if Eugenia gets money somehow from showing off her body this way, which is why she allows it. Like they contact her directly or something. Well, the person who messages about his, uh, that gave her $500 alone in one night. This leads me to believe that her moderators are lenient on people who are big donators and specifically about uh, one of her main moderators, EmoJ. I've been following Eugenia for years and you've mentioned her Discord and not good mods, but her main mod, EmoJ, is a sad character. If Eugenia mentions getting a boyfriend on Tinder, EmoJ goes nuts about all of this Tinder is just a bunch of blank and blanks. He does not want her to have a dating life. She will stream on Twitch for seven to eight hours and he is always there, even around 4 a.m. on a weekday. And he has no job or responsibilities besides being her moderator. If you know much about Twitch, you will know that the mods are either invisible or they fade to the back. Eugenia's mods run the show and rapid fire ban all night long and make themselves the center of attention. She asks her mods to relax over and over, but they tell her how things are going to be because they are in charge. It's really twisted. So it's beyond clear to me that there's actually a very serious issue here. And you remember earlier when I asked you to remember the name of that one moderator? Well, so just to make this clear, this is a, a young viewer reaching out to one of the moderators of Eugenia Cooney to talk about uh, other bad people. It turns out that this dude right here is a bad person himself. This man, Martin Howard, who goes by the name uh, Kim Laria, is a, a registered offender and of some really serious things, yet is a moderator in Eugenia's, was a moderator in Eugenia's uh, Discord server with access to uh, about anything he wanted. Here's a clip of him saying, also in Missouri, as long as I have a valid license, I can buy any gun. I won't even though I'm a convicted felon. Here's another one saying, the town I live in right now, due to my hair and God forbid I wear clothing outside of uh, what they consider normal, I'm shunned and look like I am a monster looking for children to eat. This man was eventually removed as a moderator, but not before the damage was done. And no one knows just how much damage was done. Here, we're gonna go back to um, this uh, viewer's story. Blank number one was an ex-mod. Mods are supposed to be the most trusted ones in a streamer's community. They talk to countless of young fans and other people in the community that could be vulnerable. Mods are supposed to be good people who have the best interest of safety for both the streamer and the audience. I have even messaged this ex-mod to report my struggles with bad person number two. When I was 14 years old, the ex-mod was a registered uh, not good person. He was open about the fact that he was a felon. He would bring it up often about how he had restrictions for things, even in stream chat at times. Someone ended up digging up his records. They found out he was a 
not good person and they posted that to the discord the discord staff freaked out and tried to cover up what was happening a group of people formed a twitter and ended up pressuring eugenia into banning the guy she was not willing and she knew the mods were instructed probably to clean up any concerns of that in her stream the guy was finally banned after two days of this allegation coming out i don't see how eugenia can be seen as innocent in this eugenia knew and didn't want to demote him even then until the pressure was on then we all were supposed to ignore it the next day and she never apologized for hiring a danger to protect her community Mods are supposed to be protectors. They are trusted around kids. I even messaged him before expecting him to protect me. Man, that's real bad. Uh, and of course, all this uh, all this part of her story was verified just with the previous receipts. Um, and the story gets worse. One girl in particular whose story we've been reading, and I'll link this story below, I suggest that you read all this for full context, she goes on to directly tell how her life was affected. I can't write the details of this one without shaking or wanting to freeze up and start becoming vague. This man has ruined parts of myself that I don't know if I can ever get back. I feel so much was stolen from me when I was 14. The guy was friends with bad person number three at one point as well from Eugenia's audience. I was 14 years old and he was 29. At first we messaged because we were friends. He started to say weird stuff like, I feel so guilty because I kind of like you. At this point I was struggling badly with being uh, for everything normal. I started to stream on you now to be like Eugenia and that didn't phase me. I even comforted him like it's not your fault. He then moved on to ask me very explicit questions. If I or what, have you ever had a boyfriend? Weird stuff like that. I would often refuse to answer and he'd constantly push. The man that she's talking about here went by a few names, mainly Maddie Cardi 5 and he preyed on viewers of Eugenia's Twitch and Discord server. He would gift me subscriptions to Eugenia. I loved Eugenia. That was like the main gift to be able to support one of my favorite content creators. There was also other stuff like games and stuff like that, but the sub was the gift I wanted. Silly, isn't it? Anyway, he called me weird pet names like Nerd Hottie and began talking about how he wanted me to be his wife and weird stuff like that. I was never comfortable with this. He started to send me pictures of his and bodily fluid on paper towels and I would start to threaten him with the police. In return, he'd blackmail me and threaten me and use my emotions against me. He told me his cat would die if I turned him in because his parents wouldn't feed it. He told me that he would have his life ruined and he would never be able to get a job. He told me that once he got out of jail with no car, he'd start walking. He'd walk in the rain and in the heat and the snow. He'd walk until he got to my street name. He terrified me. There's much more to this story, but I'm not going to go into the full details because they get pretty bad. But like I said, it's going to be linked in the description below. There's also another guy who whispers Twitch messages, people in chat about his downstairs. There has probably been minors and young ladies who received these messages, and this is confirmed in the uh, earlier message where her moderator EmoJ says that he did not ban this person. Several people went to the mods to express concerns about this to them, but from the mods' mouths themselves, they can't ban him because Eugenia doesn't want him banned. He's a sweet guy. I bet he lines her pockets with bits. She is actively ignoring her own mods. This is predatory. There's a cycle of victims in Eugenia's audience, and possibly even more. And Eugenia doesn't give a crap except to save her own reputation. When she does get rid of these people, eventually, she never takes accountability or does anything to stop it. She doesn't age restrict her content. In fact, in some ways, she targets kids even more. Think we don't see that Spongebob game, Eugenia. She knows there are three bad people already, ignores concerns from previous uh, survivors, doesn't take leadership over her own discord. This is not normal. Here's an instance where this survivor makes Eugenia Cooney aware of someone exhibiting violent and uncomfortable behavior, and she does exactly what uh, they're saying she does. Maybe I'll give him all. Oh. <laughs> I give you notice, but Zimzo has threatened people. W violence. New.
It's weird because she pauses and like can't. She it's almost like she just can't believe that uh, she's got caught getting called out like that. Um, for context, this is what the uh, donation said. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Zimzo has threatened people with violence numerous times in your streams and on your Discord. People have told your mods about this and they ignore it. Say he doesn't mean it. Do you really think it's okay for him to say he's going to beat someone with a lead pipe or drive to their house? If that's like too much of a reaction or anything. Um, but I just kind of think like, you know, coming in my stream and just kind of like attacking a viewer of mine who I think is a really nice person. I just don't really think that's very nice to do that. Um, and to that person, like honestly, he's a great person. He's always been like very, very sweet in my stream. So I'm not trying to, you know, be mean to anybody here, but I kind of just think coming in just to say that is kind of like not very nice. And then also, you know, kind of like bringing that on to me and everything. It's like, the stream isn't really no offense. Like the stream isn't really about me, like, going to treatment or whatever. She's made aware of something. She completely shifts the story to some another topic to ignore this. And let's see what this person has been saying in her stream that makes him such a sweet and uh, kind person. Here it can be seen he says, you want me to find these haters and knock some sense to them with a steel pipe. In another instance, oh, they're from Connecticut? Maybe I take a day trip over there. Maybe they fall down some stairs or something. Who knows? Maybe his brakes get cut. It makes me want to punch them through the screen. What a very sweet person. Streamers and YouTubers at least try to keep it a safe place for kids. Some streamers age restrict content for basic swearing even. Is she responsible for her entire audience's actions? No. But when she actively ignores and sweeps this up and doesn't care, and it's this much of a problem, then it is. That same survivor even attempted to keep another viewer safe. So there is this guy who goes by Maddie Cardi and Larry Appleton or Jessica or J-Star and he used to watch me from her Twitch chat and try to groom me by getting me subs for her and he was a major bad person but watch out for him. Thanks for the heads up, will do. Thanks. It bothers me that Eugenia didn't at least do something like this, you know, just warn the community, put something out there or even apologize for uh, this having someone like that as a moderator. She didn't say anything. I'm, in fact, I'm sure that many of you watching this video have never heard of this before because she didn't say anything. Now, I am told that she has at least extended a, an apology to this survivor, but that's not enough. There needs to be more in place to protect kids, and it's obvious that she's in no place mentally or physically to be able to handle uh, the, this large online community. So at the very least, I'm calling for an age restriction on her content. It's just not a safe place for kids. Um, Creepshow Art made a tweet uh, that I, I do agree with as well. Straight up, YouTube needs to age restrict Eugenia's content. The amount of young, young girls who are directly influenced by her, who see her cosplay videos and use her as thin spell is alarming. And at this point, they are more than aware. There are multiple reasons, but my opinion on Eugenia has changed. And as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think, so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up those likes as always, brothers and sisters. I will see you in the next video. That's a lot of not good stuff, and uh, I did, there's a lot more than I could put into this video, but I'm gonna put uh, links in the description to everything, uh, everything that is gonna verify everything in this video. Um, uh, th a lot of this did happen back in 2018, stretches out into current. Um, a lot of this stuff's still ongoing. Like, in fact, she apologized to the survivor only just recently after uh, Pastel Bell and Creepshow Arts videos. But uh, an apology is not good enough for this type of stuff. It's a completely different story when it spills over into the community and we, we have to step in and we have to say something like, hey, this is not a safe community for you to be. And that's why I think the age restriction thing is the best part. But um, this video and all these videos are made possible by my patrons because usually nine times out of 10 on videos like this, they're demonetized. Uh, but uh, I did a lot of censoring in this because demonetization does affect algorithm. 
uh, stuff. So hopefully it's going out there. Uh, I, I am still working on Positivity Turtle merch. If you're unfamiliar with the Positivity Turtle, it's a ceramic turtle that mom gave me. And we spam Positivity Turtles in chat to remind each other to stay positive because the world is just crazy and uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and it's just another way to show that you're repping if you're not repping you're getting how you do that I'm gonna subscribe and notifications turned on be in the comment section after every single video because I'm gonna be there Greg the cat's gonna be there and the rest of the Repsol community as well and I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you <laughs>